why was F Forever formed? Yeah. <laughs> well, actually, we, we formed after Forever to play some covers. We wanted to. Um, I, I started to play the guitar when we formed after Forever, so I had to learn how to play it. So we we just well, wanted. Why then did you start a band before you had to play the guitar? Yeah, because um, I needed some some people. We needed some people to to learn to play the guitar. You know, I wanted to play songs from Iron Maiden, but not by myself. But I, I wanted to practice with other musicians to have a band feeling. That that was uh, the actual idea, and we'd like to play some cover songs. Yeah. What time do we talk about then? We talk about uh, 1995. And uh, how old were you then? I was 17, 18 years old. Yeah. And uh, well, yeah, we. I think we played one cover. And then we started to, to create our own songs, and of course we, we needed five years to develop a real good songwriting style, because, or a decent songwriting style, because uh, first of all we, we should learn to play the instruments. So, um, yeah, the actual re reason was to, to learn to play an instrument. Huh? And it was you with Mark, yes? Yeah. It was uh, Mark and I, we formed the band, and uh, yeah, and at that time he, he was playing a little bit of guitar. And we, we, yeah, we learned some stuff, but soon uh, Luke, the boss player, joined us. Jack, the keyboard player, who uh, who has been replaced by Lando, who has been replaced by Joost. Joop, uh, the drummer, who has been replaced by Andre. Um, and after that, Floor joined us in 1997, and that's when we started to develop our own style. And let's say, how do you, when, when, when Floor joined the band, was it say a uh, kind of uh, style break from before, or was it say something that, that, that uh, came in naturally? No, I think um, we used to to play death metal orientated stuff, and we tried also in the verses we tried to make it musically very interesting, so with all kind of melodies and things like that. For example, what you now hear in the background, but um, but not not as tight as that. And um, well, when Floor joined, we we, cons we we saw that the verses should be pretty. Um, uh, how do you say that? Not, not too difficult because Floor had to sing, so the music should not be too difficult. Otherwise, it would be too much. And that's when the idea of some songwriting changed a little bit. So we we tried to put some difficult elements in the in the mid mid pieces of the songs or the beginnings. And keep the music, the music a little bit more quiet when Flora is singing, and we're still developing that style. So uh, it's, it's, we're still not. I think we've still not found out how we really should do it, and that's the good thing about it. But do you have an idea in your head how it should sound then, or is it some kind of journey where you don't know where your destination is? I think that's that's the, the interesting thing. I think when you create music, you you. You create the music, but eventually the song creates itself. Because when I create a piece, and for example, Joost the keyboard player has some kind of a piece, and we connect them together, we know what should be behind that. And otherwise, I wouldn't have known it. I would, it would have gone into another direction. So you don't know entirely which direction a song would go into. And I think that's good. I think you should never make too many plans about a song before you even write it. And then, uh, has the songwriting changed uh, since Mark left the band? Yeah, it, beca it became more natural, I think. Uh, Mark and I, well, Mark and I, we always composed together. The first two albums uh, were written by Mark and I, so both 50% of the music. That went very well. I, I really loved composing with him. Uh, but in the end of the second uh, CD, Decipher, we tried to compose new songs and I found out that Mark was going to a direction which I wouldn't go to. And um, it's, it's more classical orientated, I think it's more gothic, it's more, um, it's not surprising, but it's not meant to be negative, it's not surprising for me, this kind of music, I think it's boring. but. But for Mark, it's 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 an emotion, 
and I respect that because uh, because many people like his music, and I think that's that's a, a good thing, you know. It's getting diverse. It was not my kind of music, and then we saw that that the chemistry wasn't there anymore, and then you have to make a decision. And well, if we would have written a, a third album, it would be a bad album because you would have gotten all kinds of compromises. Mark would would be forced to leave out some of his melodies and I would be forced to leave out my grooves and uh, wouldn't have worked. So yeah, I think that that happens. It's not nice, it's not fun, but it happens. And uh, we had a discussion about that, yeah. And Mark had to leave. Now, and now it's more natural, you know, the yeah. songwriting style. Yeah, I think it's, uh, we released a mini album and a full length album, we wrote it. I think in, uh, in six months we wrote them both. And um, there are still plenty of ideas. I think the music is more honest. Uh, it's it's our feeling, and I think we we are as a, as musicians we bo we have a different taste, but we know what direction we want to go. And do, you, but do you write now, let's say, the music entirely yourself? No, no, no. I I don't want to, and I I cannot do that. I think it's a. Uh, um, for me, I, I'm always the one who, who composes most of the music, who uh, watches the, the structures of the songs, and in the end, I'm the one who decides whether the song will be on the album or not, or whether it should be changed. But uh, all the musicians in the band are very important. I think they are all really, really helping a lot to make the songs more grown up. And uh, I think that's the best thing about After Forever. It's not a project, and it's not a studio project. There are many bands who don't write songs at all. They're, it is told that he writes all the music, but it's bullshit. The music is being written in the, in the studio. And the, we are a band that really create our own songs by ourselves, and really all the musicians have their input. Uh, and, and I don't mind to be the one who, who writes most of the stuff. I like it. But it's great to have the help of, of, of all the other members. And I think Floor is very important because she writes her own melodies uh, herself. She has her own vocal line. And, and lyric-wise? Lyric-wise, I'm not the one who... Uh, no. Uh, Floor uh, writes all the lyrics. Um, with the concept, uh, we've made a story together. Uh, what it should be based on per song. Yeah. Exactly. And, uh, but when it really comes to, to writing the lyrics, uh, the floor is the best one to do that. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, now, yeah, for this album, uh, normally when floor writes her lyrics, it's personal. And I, uh, oh, sorry. And I don't want to be the one who, who says, no, that's wrong or whatever. No, no. But this time, uh, I, uh, yeah, I'm the one who knows how how the situation of, of some children is and so uh, but but I must say she she did an excellent job uh, there were very few things that I had to change and uh, yeah for me it's very hard to understand how she did it because uh, Flora had also a very nice parent so uh, it's it's great it's great I don't know how she got into the skin you know got into that child but she, she did okay. uh, last question then um, how did you come up with the idea for Invisible Circles? Yeah, I, that's uh, because I'm a teacher. And, um, well, my children are, most of the time they are uh, problem, problem children. They've got problems at home or with, with other students. But uh, especially the ones who, who've got problems at home, they, they are very, yeah, you get you notice this immediately and I get I spent some time with the children talking about that and I could see that all the problems were pretty similar and they were all due to the fact that their parents yeah they want to work or they are divorced and they are forced yeah the, the children are not um, don't have the support of, of their parents anymore so so their parents are not at home the whole day they have to cook for themselves they lack the, the support of their parents and that was something that worried me and I thought well let's do something with that and we, uh, we really spent yeah, a lot of time working on the, on the concept and that's what it has become. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you.